Hey Archie, how did you manage to get 11 KD? I practiced and got good. Can you show me how to get your aim? I can't show you how to get my aim, but I can show you the way though. Show me. How? Make a video, man. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my new video on how to improve your aim. So today I'm going to be showing you four steps on how to improve your aim. It's going to include window settings, so your mouse settings in the windows, in-game sensitivity, okay, training mode, which is going to help you improve your aim. And also, I'm going to show you about some leading some shots, you know, comparing some ranges and stuff. But this is just an example. So this is not going to instantly make you better. But you're going to get more of an understanding of how to aim, basically. And you're going to improve by practicing and actually playing the game, right? But hopefully this video will help you on the road of how to improve the aim, right? Rather than just going into a match and dying constantly and getting frustrated. So let's get into it, boys, and enjoy the video. Open up your control panel, right? I don't know how the other windows work, but this is Windows 10. Go on your control panel, and then you go on to mouse. Pointers option. There is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 lines, right? My my one is on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 one. So it's basically in the middle, right? And check what this is for you, right? I leave it on the middle and then go with DPI and in-game um, sensitivity. And also, something really important is you untick enhance pointer position, precision right so what i found was with enhanced pointer precision was it was i don't really know how to explain it but once i unticked it which was ages ago my aiming did become better in time because enhanced pointer precision it sounds really good right but it's not actually enhancing anything in my opinion whilst you're shooting on an fps game or anything else so untick this. So that's it for the mouse options in Windows. Now for my sensitivity, default is 85, shoulder aim is 85, aim down sight is 80, dead eye scope is 75, marksman is 70, sniper is 65. And I didn't touch aperture because I'm never going to ever use the aperture scope. And obviously this is all... I don't really touch this bit, I just leave it the same. So let me explain quickly. Now, as you can see for the sniper scope, my sensitivity is actually a little lower, right? And that's because the sniper scope is really scoped in. So if you go up and pick a massive amount of sensitivity on that, so let's say you put on, I don't know, like 1.0 on the sniper, You'll find out if you literally move your mouse a little bit, it, you, it's going to move way too much, right? So you're going to literally get used to something that's a little bit lower than what you have now. And obviously like marksmen. So let me explain to you this. So obviously sniper scope is more zoomed in than anything else. So as you can gradually go up to sniper, marksman, deadeye, deadeye is the least one. So... I, I left Deadeye around 75, Marksman is at 70, and Sniper at 0.65, okay? You can probably put the Sniper to 0.60, but I'm used to 0.65, right? So as there is more zoom, there is less 
sensitivity for me, right? Now, you don't need to copy my sensitivity. I'm not saying you, letting you know to, you know, copy my sensitivity, but find your sensitivity and start practicing in the training mode and see if you like it, right? Now, everything else I'm playing on the control screen of Hunter. I'm not using Gunslinger. Gunslinger is new. There's nothing wrong with Gunslinger, but if you are used to playing games that have their guns up the whole time, use Gunslinger. I mean, so was I, but I just started with Hunter and I'm used to Hunter now, so I don't need to, you know, use anything else. Now, crouch is toggle, sprint is hold, aim down sight is toggle. Now, these are all optional. You don't need to copy me, but this is what I have, right? And key customizations are all default. My crouch is C and control, just depending on where my fingers are, basically. And then obviously graphic settings, I'll add this in there as well, just to show you what I play with. So I use borderless because on stream, it's easier to click off the other screen instead of tabbing out. 1080p, I don't play on 2K. I don't have a 2K monitor. Object is high, texture is high. Texture filtering is 16X. And T is on 1X. Now, quickly explain this. If you pick anything higher than this, your game becomes blurry. So I keep it on here or off. It depends, right? Lightning is off. Shadow is medium. For example, texture is high for me because I want to make the game look a little bit better for stream. You can put it on low if you want as well. Object, I recommend to have at least on medium. You can still go low, but medium would be better because it renders better. Effects off. Prospressing off. Particles low and everything else is whatever and then advanced. I've just ticked this. I Mean I don't think these are so what you do is pick out your loadout uh, These things don't matter. You just pick out your guns I'm picking Winfield for the example for this video and then we just go to lobby training and I pick professional because it's got the most AI and you just press start so I'll see you at the training mode. So after you've loaded up the training mode, you're obviously going to spawn in. Now, all you have to do right now is just basically shoot everything you see. There's no players around. You don't need to be scared to do anything. And also the response time on the training mode, it's much faster. Right? So, see a zombie, start shooting it. So notice when I crouch and then I shoot, there's less sway than it is if I stand up. Can you see the sway difference? And then I sit down, a little bit less sway. Okay, so you're just going to walk around and shoot everything you see. So what you'll practice is you'll also practice crouch shots, standing shots, Peak shots, peak shots meaning something like this. Okay. Crowd shots. You can shoot lanterns as well. They're basically heads. Okay. So basically, the whole point of this is to basically like teach your brain how to aim and how to improve the aim. Okay. Now, of course, these are not players you're shooting, but there is no other way to improve your aim other than practicing, right? So that's why I said you can't watch a video and get better aim. I can show you how to get better aim, but I can't, like, I can't teach you how to aim and then you're going to go into a game and you have straight good aim, you know what I mean? So what you basically just need to do is encrypt it to your brain. Flick shots. Okay. And after you've done some flick shots one game, do slow shots like this.
And you can also kill the moving zombies too. You see some of the zombies start like walking a little bit slowly. Or after they start shooting. After you've started shooting at them. They'll start running around. Which then you can practice a little bit on moving targets as well. Which is a little bit harder than obviously standing still ones. So basically the whole point of the training mode is to teach you how the AI work, right? But it can also be a good warm up for you to go in before you start the games. On your aim. So you literally just go in. Now this is obviously going to be for beginners. Uh, even people that have a lot of hours, right? If you really do want to improve your aim, this is literally the only way. You go in, encrypt your brain whilst you set up everything else. You go in the game and start teaching your brain about how the game works, about how the iron sights work, about how the snipers work. And the reason we picked Winfield is because it's got, you know, decent fire rate so you can keep shooting. And the uh, ammo for compact is the most in the chambers and stuff, so you don't really need to get as much ammo as you need if you had like a, you know, long ammo or whatever it is. Keep going. Again. Hit. Again. So the idea of each rifle having different bullet speed is basically, so let's say I'm using Vetterly. Now this is at around 180 meters. So you just have to get l literally used to the leading shots of each weapon at each range so it takes a little bit of time but basically the slower the muzzle velocity the more you have to lead the longer the shot the more you have to lead that's basically the idea of it now I can't teach you exactly like how to lead because that's just kind of impossible because all fights happen in different ranges but I gave you an example of 150 meters and this is around um, 150 to 180 and that's about it really so make sure you're leading your shots know what weapon you're using know the bullet velocity at least so you can get an idea of how slow or how fast the uh, the bullet is and that's it really so once you've done your training mode once you've fixed your sensitivity that's all good but now you have to learn the leads which is not that hard you just have to basically practice it so for example as you can see with the veterly I'm leading quite a lot compared to Mosin um, with the sparks, I was leading a little tiny bit more than the Mosin because Mosin has around 615, sparks has uh, 533. So it's not that much of a lead more because the bullet speed is, you know, faster. It's not insane amounts of leads, is what I'm trying to tell you. So, like, 
with pistols that have around you know so as i'm showing you right now i'm showing you like the lead around would have literally around 150 meters range and with that with the mosin it would have been a little bit to the left as you can see now i'm going to show packs. you the packs packs is really slow so did Shot you see that lead as well so it's like packs is around 330 i believe and you just have to like lead insane amounts in that range right so you just have to get comfortable with your ranges but all in all guys i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it uh this will definitely help you improve your aim a little bit at least um obviously like i said the training mode do some peak shots, do some crouch shots, do some fast shots. Just try all the different things that you're going to be doing against players. You know what I mean? So let me know if this helped you. Have a great day. And I will catch you for more videos. They are coming. Don't worry, guys. Okay? We're going to be taking over. Peace.